Okay, here's a video I knew I'd have to make sooner or later. It may not be what it seems though. Headline says, Sedona Airport warns drone pilots to stay away after collision with private plane. This is the Fox 10 news station. Uh, Arizona, I suppose it is. I think Sedona's in Arizona. Anyway, um, here we go. I'll just read you what it says here. It says, it's hard to find any place on earth more beautiful than Sedona. And that beauty draws visitors from everywhere. That means a lot of airplanes, helicopters, and increasingly, drones. Amanda Shankland, the general manager of Sedona Airport, says on February the 11th, one of those drones hit a private plane mid-air, and the pilot said it was a frightening experience. I asked if he saw it in front of him, and he said no. It was probably coming up from underneath him, said Shankland. He said it was the loudest boom I'd heard in an airplane. Now, let's take a moment to look at this. He didn't actually see the drone. He says he hit a drone, but he didn't see anything. Uh, I have a feeling this is not what it appears to be. Let's move on. The plane's propeller obliterated the drone. The airport manager says the scratches came from tiny bits of the drone. She says it could have been a lot worse. Okay. Um, it could have hit the engine, stall the plane, many different problems there. Could it cause a crash? Absolutely, yeah, it could cause a crash, said Shankland. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The Federal Aviation Administration investigated this incident and says multiple FAA in inspectors examined the evidence and found no indication of an in-flight collision with any object. Well, so this guy hit a drone he didn't see, so he doesn't know it was a drone, and the FAA says he didn't hit anything. This is more fake news. More fake, this is what we're dealing with. In my last video blog, I pointed out that this is, this is the enemy of the drone hobby and the model flying hobby. Reports like this, which, great clickbait headline, when you get into it, he didn't see a drone, but he's sure he hit one. And the FAA, the final arbiter of this, says he didn't actually hit anything. There's no evidence. Oh, come on. So, as I said in my vlog, we've got to stay on top of this. We have to, if, I don't know if you can leave comments on this video, on this, on this page. A lot of these little regional news sites don't allow you to leave comments because they don't want you to challenge the news that they put up as fake news, clickbait stuff. So, no, there's nowhere to leave a comment on there. So, obviously, it's just a load of crap um, and treat it accordingly. But now you know this is out there. If people say, oh, a plane hit a drone at Sedina Airport, you say, no, the FAA concluded there was no collision and the pilot never saw a drone. So, I'll try and keep you informed on stories like this, which are just fake news stories designed to stir up public um, hysteria. And hopefully we can, over a period of time, counter them. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Um, as I say, I'll just keep you informed. If you're interested in more of this stuff, subscribe to this channel. I will keep you informed. If you're not interested in this, well, subscribe anyway, and just ignore the videos like this one, if you don't like them. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye.